Now we'll see how we can download the framework files and dependency files. So the first thing is ember.js file and then we have ember template compiler.js. This one is basically required for HTML bars and you can download it from the site emberjs.com forward slash builds. We also have ember data files that you can download from builds hash forward slash tagged. So these are the URLs and let me take you to the web pages as well. So here emberjs.com forward slash builds you can see the release version and we are making use of version 1.12 as of now and uh, this one emberjs builds slash tagged you can download the ember data files from here and once you have downloaded these files you can create a small demo version which will have just ignore these html bars we just have the ember file this one is the production version then we have the ember data and here we have ember template compiler then we have jquery this you can download from the cdn or you can simply refer to that cdn so these are the required files to create a custom version now we'll see how we can install and create an ember application right from scratch using node package manager for installing ember using node package manager you first of all have to install node and that you can download from the site node.js forward slash download you can choose the required version macintosh or windows i've installed 64-bit version of windows so once you have installed this just go to your command prompt and you can just write this line npm install minus g ember cli that is command line interface and it will execute and install ember then you also need to install phantom.js this one is required for creating tests for ember application and after that you can install bower as well as well as git now git once installed you need to ensure that it's in your path environment and once that is there you can create a new application as you can see we have just said ember new then the name of the application so once you have created this application you can go ahead and run a command called ember server so if i show you over here just take a close look over here ember server now if everything is installed properly the server will provide you one url localhost 4200 in case it fails it will simply tell you to install all the dependencies and to install the dependencies you can simply go ahead and run bower install so here you can see that we have done that so it installs all the dependencies we just said bower install and after that i simply ran ember server now once i ran ember server it gave me the url and on that url i just executed and as you can see it just says welcome to ember.js now if I take you to the directory structure that this application is having here you can see that all the directories being created node modules or components this one is the main app and inside that you can see views and other directories like templates it has got components and these are the template script files application.hbs so if I open this one for you you can see that welcome to ember.js is the title written over here and outlet we'll come to this in more detail in upcoming lectures this is just showing you the contents of it and let's go to other folders like styles we have the css the routes folder is there models there some are empty but you get the basic structure of the application that you need to have and then we have controllers components that way so this is the index.html file so everything is provided using npm and you get a basic structure of the application and you start from there whereas the other version that i was showing you you need to you know do everything as you feel like create your own directories and then put files inside it and then you organize things on your own that way it is so we just now covered how to install ember using node package manager and we also saw how we can download the required files to run an Ember application. We'll see more on this in upcoming lectures.